So, hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys are doing great and staying safe and staying home. Video we are going to be talking about a few um, tips or essentials which you need to put into consideration when or if you intend traveling with your little ones to Cameroon. You want to be you know safe, take some precautions with your kids when traveling back home so i have my notes here which i'll be sharing my various points with you guys because i recently just came back from cameroon and um these are basically the things which i put into consideration when i was planning the journey so yeah i'll just go ahead and you know spill all the tea to you guys and if you want to listen stay tuned Hey guys, before thinking of traveling with your toddlers back home, um, you should make sure that actually we are going to be breaking this whole thing into three. That is the first thing we'll be talking about are the travel dogs. The second thing will be the health essentials, and then the third thing are just going to basically be baby props or you know toddler props like. Um, you know diapers wipes and all whatnot so yeah the first thing i'll dive in are the travel documents passport very important make sure you have a valid passport that's of uh, i think from six months upwards six months validity and um, say either the cameroon passport or the german passport so make sure that each of them are at least six months valid then next you want to make sure that the child has a visa it's either a normal resident visa or he if the child is a citizen then you need to apply for a cameroonian visa at the cameroonian embassy so you have to make sure that you apply for your visa right on time and i think the visa ranges between three months to six months or so so make sure you get the right visa and always once the passport gets to you make sure you control it because many a times those people at the embassy they behave like they have drunk or gorobo <laughs> so make sure that you check that the visa is a valid travel date as in when the when the visa is valid and when it expires so you don't you know i've heard of incidents where they just stamp the visa you can't even identify when it's valid or when it expires so make sure when the passport gets to you for those who are of course german citizens or any other citizen make sure you control all that so if there is anything that has to be changed it is changed within a period of time before your journey so our advisor these things should be done at least a month to six weeks prior to your journey or if it goes even quickly why not better for you but many a times the embassies are very very busy and you never know what might happen so it's better to have your visa on time than to have it late so the second thing will be um the health essentials under this i mean like your vaccination or the children being vaccinated for instance my little man we had to vaccinate him for yellow fever likewise other just his normal checkup before he could travel so for the yellow fever vaccine we were a little bit late with the vaccination i think i took him for his vaccine that was about a week or two to our journey but the doctor advised us that it was better if we came like three or yeah at least three weeks prior to our journey so if there is anything that probably he reacts um negatively to the vaccine or if he has a fever you know kids mostly they react some kind of way to all those vaccines so yeah um make sure you go for your yellow fever vaccine right on time then you observe your child back home and make sure that he's he's not reacting negatively to the vaccine then next of course will be your medical kit guys please your medical kit should be set especially if not for yourself as the mother or as an adult at least for the little one because back home i in fact we literally experienced severe diarrhea with Ivan. like the first two weeks severe diarrhea like we couldn't just bear it you know and it was not just the normal diarrhea it was not just the normal diarrhea where he just poops all the time it got to a point where it became very watery like guys i couldn't believe that my child was undergoing that but the best thing out of it was 
he wasn't having any fever, no runny temperature, he wasn't crying or refusing food, not nothing of such. Like he kept on eating anything that came his way, anything that grandma cooked, like everything that was worth eating, he ate. But this diarrhea of the thing, we, we couldn't just figure it out. So what we actually we finally did was we took him to a pediatrician in Yaoundé. He checked him and then prescribed drugs, you know, um, we bought and gave him, administered to him for a few days and we kind of like saw some positive um, reaction on him. He was answering to the tablet and yeah, after some few days it was over and all that. But if I had knew that he was going to face that, I mean, we were prepared that there were some changes that was going to happen, you know, but we didn't know the area was going to be on the list. So I didn't really figure, I didn't really know that that's what was going to happen. But yeah, after some few days, after after taking the tablets, everything was fine. So yeah, I think vaccination, kid, what should you have? One, a meter to measure his temperature, just in case. Definitely, we don't pray for bad health when we're on vacation back home. We pray that everything works in well. But when you're traveling with these kids, you never know. You know it can go from 100 to 0 or from 0 to 1,000. So make sure your thermometer is always ready. You know, as kids, they always have this paracetamol which they insert through the anus. So make sure you get that as well and in the right prescription. Uh, thirdly, we'll be talking about the baby props. Under baby props, like I earlier explained, um, you want to make sure that you have enough diapers, enough wipes and all that but what advice families especially to do prior to their journey is you might just load a carton like what we did I'm going to be saying an example from my side here yeah? so what we did was we loaded not just one carton we loaded cartons with um, diaper like enough diaper, enough wipes, baby pro um, um, how do you call it baby snacks baby food um his toys literally all those things that we know we kind of like save you some finance back home because i tell you one thing yeah one thing that really irritated me back home was the quality of pampas they sell in the market i don't know how your kids are but for my child <laughs> guys that man has a certain bot there eh? Even here in Germany, he doesn't wear the pampas according to his age. He's always a size bigger. So in Cameroon, we went to the market and we wanted to buy him pampas because his things had not arrived um, during the time we were in Yaoundé. So we had to wait for a week longer. It wasn't all that bad. It wasn't all that dramatic. But the quality of pampas we got, apparently in the market or in Cameroon, it is the best quality, of course. But it wasn't the best for me and it wasn't the right size for Ivan. Literally, we had to squeeze in the young man's stomach just so it fits some kind of way that he would manage throughout the period of time he was facing his diarrhea and we're waiting for his stops, you know. So, I would rather advise you buy your stops here, put them in a carton and ship them ahead of time. Then you know that your child is going to be in good health, in good you know he's he's going to be fine knowing you knowing fully well that you are using the right um, um items you're using the right pampas the right wife and everything on your child we have here his bathing sets or the kids bathing sets reasons being yeah his skin has you know gotten used to it to and then at some point of time boom you're in a sunny weather like sunny from mondays to sundays from morning to evening i mean the, way, the temperature changes immediately and you just probably want to stick to the products you've been using just so your child doesn't show up some allergy or some rashes or whatsoever you just want to stick to it you know a lot if you listen to this particular point reasons being diapers in cameroon it's not cheap wipes in cameroon is not cheap just imagine, except you want to stay in Cameroon for two weeks old and you say, okay, I'm going to sacrifice and buy that pampas every day. Let's say your child is using like three to four pampas in a day. Just calculate and then, you know, you can save that budget. But a word to a wise is sufficient. If you listen to this point and you put it into practice, then you're going to save a lot of money because the money you're giving out to buy the pampas and the wife is literally the same money you would have probably bought I don't know, food stuff for your grandmother or gifts for another person or you know just use it in another way so what you want to do is make sure that you pack enough 
diapers, enough wipes for your children prior to your journey and send ahead of time. In that carton, you can send diapers enough, even if it means you'll stay for two weeks or three weeks or a month and you're definitely not going to use all. You can even resell them or you give it to any young mother who is around whom you feel, okay, let me give let me give the, the remaining pampas to her. By the way, I cannot take it back to Germany. So you might have to pack in pampas and enough wipes, equally enough, probably some few clothes already, yeah few clothes i'm going to explain this few clothes few clothes that you want to pack in his some of his baby food or baby snacks you know his favorite biscuits favorite sweets or favorite chocolate or whatsoever you're giving your children and then some few toys yeah toys just to keep him company at home or to play with with his friends wherever he's going to room with um royal air maroc or i think with any of the turkish airlines or with any other airlines these kids age range 0 to 23 months do not have a bigger luggage what i mean by bigger luggage i mean 23 kg times 2 they do not have it so you need to make sure that in that carton like i earlier said pack a few clothes ahead of time you literally want to prepare your child prior to your arrival in the sense that you pack in some clothes in that carton and let it go ahead of time because your 23 kilo, if you're trapped, if you're a mother and or mother, father and two kids, three kids, four kids, one person will have to sacrifice his one luggage, that, that is his one to three kilograms for the child and for his things to be packed in that one big luggage. So for this not to happen or if, if it has to happen, good and fine, it's a decision. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but you can do it. But at least just so everybody has some kind of bargain bargain like minimize the things he did the, the stuff he's traveling with because he has to give his one luggage to the child it is advisable that you put some of the baby things when it comes to clothing for example into the carton and then the rest of the things um you can put because the child has just i think depending on the airline luggages between eight to ten and the hand luggage between eight to ten kg plus a baby bag exactly plus a baby bag meaning nothing really comes to that baby bag that you will say okay you will carry the dresses she's going to wear no in the baby bag we can cover only the diapers you'll be, you'll be using along your journey you know from you'll be transiting from one airport to another from one plane to another so and the child is going to be peeing and pooping and all those kind of things so you just want to have everything set for that journey and that is all what will be in your baby bag either his water bottle his water you might want to have his diaper, change some new changing clothes or his nightwear. Definitely, depending on how you're traveling, if you're going to be landing in the morning, if you're going to be landing in the night, you just want to make sure that at least your child is kind of like comfortable when flying. So what I actually packed in his baby bag was his food. Um, I packed some um, changing clothes, enough diapers and a pack of white, which was really good. And then... Um, you want to make sure that in his hand luggage you pack in the, the like the most important things that you'll be needing upon arrival just in case your luggage does not arrive in our case a few number of pampas too in his hand luggage you know changing clothes some bathing stuffs even if they're just the mini sachets or the mini uh, packs in his um in his in his hand luggage and all that and then that's how you just prepare yourself so for such incidents you know just in case you get to the airport to your end destination and probably your luggage or all of the luggages are not there on time you want to make sure that you have at least some kind of like underwear diaper body cream or whatsoever in your hand luggage which you can use for at least um, a few days until your luggages um, arrive i don't know some airports take about a week before your luggage arrives but we were lucky enough that royal air came in i think um, let me say a day after we arrived because we arrived on sunday monday and then on tuesday our luggages came yeah so um that's actually it guys so i hope this video was actually helpful i hope you were able to pick up one or two points out of this and if you did please do make sure to share one or two tips equally in the comment section let's interact let me know um what other things you will pack or you would like to um, add to the list when traveling back home and uh, yeah 
I'm very excited to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yes, I'll definitely see you in my next video then. Bye-bye.